He doesn't like Europe. Uh, and you? He doesn't like me either. Uh, no, I meant to... I love it, but he wants to go right home. He hasn't got any boys here. Well, there's one, but he always goes around with a the teacher. They won't let him play. And your brother has no teacher? Mother thought of getting him one. There was a lady told her about a very good teacher, an American lady. Perhaps you know her, Mrs. Saunders? I think no, she I came don't from believe... Boston. Oh, she well, told her perhaps... about this teacher, and we thought of getting him to travel around with us. But Randall said he didn't want a teacher traveling around with us. He said he wouldn't have lessons when we were in the cars, and we were in the cars about half the time. Oh, well, then how There was an English lady we met in the cars. I think her name was Miss Featherstone. Perhaps you know her? Uh, Miss she wanted to know why I didn't give Randolph lessons. Give him instruction, she called it. I guess he could give me more instruction than I could give him. He's very smart. Uh, yes, he seems to be. Mother's going to find a teacher for him as soon as we get to Italy. Can you find people in Italy to do that kind of thing? Oh, I think you can find people in Italy. Or else she's going to find some school. To do almost any kind of thing. He's only 10. He's going to college. Have you been? Uh, yes, in Geneva. Oh. You know that English lady in the cars, Miss Featherstone? Miss asked me if we didn't all live in hotels in America. I told her I'd never been in so many hotels in my life as I've been in since I came to Europe. I declare it's nothing but hotels. I've never seen so many. Well, there are quite a number of course, they're of them. very good. Once you get used to their ways, mind you, I think Europe is perfectly sweet. Well, well, I'm not disappointed. Well, not a bit. Not Maybe it's because I'd heard so much about it before. I have ever so many intimate friends who've been ever so many times. And then, of course, I have so many dresses and things from Paris. Whenever I put on a Paris dress, I feel as if I were in Europe. Are you waiting for someone? Uh, my aunt, uh, Mrs. Costello, I'm taking her for cure the bath. They always made me wish I was in Europe. The dresses. Uh, uh, Though I'm sure they send all the pretty ones to America. It's the most awful things here. What did you suffer from? Uh, pardon? Your aunt. Oh, she keeps an open mind. Anything her doctor suggests. The only thing I don't like is the society. There isn't any. Or if there is, I don't know where it keeps itself. Do you? Well, I think you Oh, I suppose there's some society somewhere, but I haven't seen anything of it. Are you going to take the cure, too? Oh, I hope I don't need it. Well, oh. I'm very fond of Society. I've always had plenty of it. I don't mean only in Schenectady, but in New York. I go to New York every winter, and there's lots of society there. Last winter, I had 17 dinners given me, and three of them by gentlemen. I have more friends in New York than Schenectady. More gentlemen friends. And more young lady friends, too. I've always had a great deal of gentlemen society. I see. Have you been to that old castle around the bend? Uh, Chillon. I beg your pardon? It's called the Chateau de Chillon. Have you ever been there? Oh, yes, more than once. And you? No, we haven't been there. And I want to go dreadfully. Of course, I mean to go. I just wouldn't leave without seeing that old castle. Well, you can drive, you know, or take the little steamer if you like. That's what Eugenio says, our courier. We have a courier traveling personally with us, making all the arrangements, all that sort of thing. His name is Eugenio. He's the most fastidious man I ever saw. But he's a splendid courier. We were going to that old castle last week, but Mother gave out. Good cooking always gives her dyspepsia. Maybe mm. you should take her to the baths with your aunt. Uh, well, I could ask my aunt. I... Randolph wouldn't go either. He says it's much too old to be interesting. He wants to stay here. Mother's afraid to leave him alone, and Eugenio won't stay with him. So we haven't been to many places, but it will be too bad if we don't go up there. Well, can't you find someone to stay with Randolph for an afternoon? Wish well, you'd stay with him. Oh, I'd much rather go to Chillon. With me? And with your mother, of course. Oh, I don't think Mother would go for you. She's not much bent on going anyway. She doesn't like to ride around in the afternoons. Maybe she'll stay here with Randolph, which means maybe Eugenio will stay too, and then we can go to the castle. We? Oui, you and I? Oh, Eugenio. This is Eugenio. I knew he'd be looking for me any minute. I have the honor to inform Mademoiselle it is time to go into the village. We're going to buy a clock. Eugenio's found one at a really amazing price. I'm sure. Mademoiselle has seen her brother. He's climbing the Alps. Excuse me. Oh, he doesn't want to come. See here, Eugenio. 